Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you this really easy one eyeshadow look. So if you want to see how I did this look right here, then definitely keep watching. Let's get into this tutorial. If you want to know everything that I'm wearing on my face, I will have all the products linked below, so make sure to check that out. I'm going to first start off by priming my eyes with this Essence eyeshadow primer. This one definitely helps to intensify really bright colors, or you could use a white eyeshadow base. I'm applying a little to my eyelid and then just blending that out with my fingers. I'm also going to set this with a little translucent setting powder just so I don't have any creasing. And then I decided to do my brows really quickly off camera as well. So for this look, I used the yellow eyeshadow from the Feral palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. This is probably one of my favorite yellow eyeshadows ever. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of product and slowly build it up. That's how I like to work uh, with colors, especially bright colors. So I'm just patting this all over the lid and slowly building this up into the crease. And then slowly just adding a little by little. That way I just don't overdo it. Taking my time and building up the color, it's very intense and very vibrant. Making sure to go through the crease and really blend out any harsh edges. I'm also going to apply the same exact color to the lower lash line using a smaller brush packing this on, blending it out very softly, and connecting up into the crease. Once I have the yellow laid down, I decided to go in with a flat synthetic brush and really pack on the color, mainly on the lid, to really intensify that yellow. And it is gorgeous. Going through and blending one last time, now I know that this is a one eyeshadow eye look, but I did want to add a little bit of sparkle to my inner corner. And of course, this palette is literally falling apart. This one's from BH. I don't even think they sell it anymore, but I'm just taking one of the foiled yellow shades and highlighting my inner corner just a little bit, because you know I can't resist an inner corner highlight. For my waterline, I'm going to add this nude pencil to the lower part of my waterline just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And now moving on to the most difficult part of this look is the black liner. I'm first taking this uh, more of a marker liner just to sort of outline the shape I want. I really did not like this for filling in because it did skip quite a bit, but it's good for sort of creating that shape you want and then filling it in with a liquid liner. So that's what I did. Just taking my time and then I went in with my NYX liquid eyeliner in black and just used this to fill in. Uh, it made it a lot easier doing an outline first and this definitely is more time consuming. You don't have to do a wing, but I love the contrast of the yellow and the black wing. It's one of my faves. So I'm just taking my time and creating that nice sharp wing and definitely using this over top of a bright shadow is going to show any mistake. So I did take my time. So I went ahead and did the other part off camera because it did take me quite a while. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to add lots of mascara. This one is from Milk cosmetics or milk makeup i've been really loving this one is the kush mascara and i'm just going to curl my lashes really well but i almost forgot <laughs> to tight line so i'm just taking my milani pencil and doing a little tight lining since i did do a really intense black wing i do want to sort of mask any sort of skin that's showing i know that sounds weird but i do like to tight line when i do this sort of step now we can add lots of mascara to the top lashes and then also I like this on the bottom lashes as well. So while this mascara dries, I like to go ahead and apply my lip color. This one is from Melt, you guys know. 
I'm kind of obsessed with the Melt Matte Lipsticks. They're amazing. This is a new shade I purchased. I believe it's called Voyeur. It's a really interesting nude. It looks kind of like a brownish nude with a little hint of yellow in it, and that's why I picked this particular color to go with this eye look. I did also use a little bit of this e.l.f. Cosmetics lip gloss just to add a little extra shine on top. And for lashes, of course, my tried and true, my jean lashes from Shop Miss A. I absolutely love them. And because I wanted to be a little extra, I did add a little bit of this highlighter over top of the highlighter I was already wearing. This is called Bon Bon from the AOE Studio Bay Highlighters, and this is a beautiful white gold, and it really made the cheekbones pop. So that is it you guys, that completes this look. I went ahead and did my hair off camera. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this a like, comment, share, all that good stuff. You can also find me on social media. My links are always in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this look. I love bright yellow right now. I just, I'm really into the bright colors. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.